Lord again. I had a conversation with somebody the other day and they was like, you know, it was talking about supporting your spouses or supporting people. And they was like, they, they looked at my video and was like, yeah, I had some good points on that. But they was like, what if the person doesn't want to mess up your following or mess up your supporters? Like, what if it's, what if it's a man or a few men that are liking you because they think you're single, so they're trying to buy your products? So, you know, your spouse may just want to stand down a little bit so that way these people can purchase. I guess that's a good point, you know, but I don't, in the business that I'm in, I don't, I've had people fake support me thinking if they buy one beer, but oh, now she, I get the cat or something. Like, those people that's fake supporting me to try to date me or fake acting like they interested, their monies ain't really contributing to no, like, abundance i want to say like it'd be a fake i'm about this beer butter once 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 no repeat no nothing once they figure out i'm not interested they're not coming back and that ain't even the type of support i would want i don't want anyone to support me on the on a the the, the premise that they're going to get something in return like me. You're going to support me, support me because you believe in me and you believe in my product. Now, if you're trying to date me, of course you're supposed to support me. I get it. But don't fake support with like, if I buy this, then we go together. That You know how many other people probably thinking the same thing you're thinking? But you're not going to be able to, and it's like a catch-22, I guess, because you're not going to be able to date me without supporting me. But you don't think that just by you supporting me, I should date you, if that makes sense. There's people out here that fake want to help you, fake want to help your business grow. And the whole time, the only reason they trying to help your business grow is because they got an ulterior motive. What happened to supporting people just because their product is good or that you want to see people prosper? I have people that do support me genuinely and has helped my business out without asking for anything in return. No discounts, no free items, not my number, not my address, not a date. Then you got people that think because they spent $10, $15, oh, I owe them something. They referred me to somebody that didn't buy nothing, but they still think that I owe them something. I appreciate all the business that I get. I appreciate it. But just don't have an ulterior motive behind it. Be genuine. Because when I tag people, when I refer people, when I share people's stuff, I am genuine in supporting their business and their brand. I'm not asking for a discount. If your price is your price and it's too high for me, I just don't buy. Or I'll wait till I got the money to come. I don't be like, well, I can't afford it. I'm not buying it. I don't do that. I wait till when it's financially for me to buy from you. Or I just don't buy because it's not in my budget. But I'm not knocking nobody. These people out here will buy from a stranger. But then when it comes to me, what does it do? What's the ingredients? Da, 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 da. When you go into that beauty supply store, do you ask that or that Chinese man or whatever it is, man behind the counter, can I get a free sample? Does this work? What are the ingredients? Do you think they know? Then it's then you got these people. I don't got no hair, I can't use it. So you don't got skin? I sell body wash. I sell lotions, I sell shampoo, I sell a plethora of items, and not one of them you can use, not one. I started with two items, I got over 30 now, you telling me not one of those items you can use? Mm, okay. 